Okay, welcome back. Uh, while we're still waiting for our profile pic to be um, um, designed, we're going to go ahead and, and get the rest of our page set up. So uh, we want to add some features to our page um, so that we can we can start getting opt-ins and, and building our business. And uh, one of those uh, features, uh, a great feature to have, is to have an opt-in form on your Facebook page. Okay, so um, if you are with Aweber, um, Aweber has a, a nifty little uh, app. Okay, so you click a Aweber and then you go Aweber email marketing. Okay, click on that. And it says installation. Take a look at our take a look at our knowledge base. Click on that. Okay, and then on this page. Um, you basically want to click on the view the Aweber app. Okay, uh, you have to be logged into your Facebook account, which obviously we are. Okay, view the the Aweber app. Okay, and here it is here. And we want to add to my page down here. Okay, add the app to my page, and then you just scroll through and find the page that you you want to add it to. And this is instantly fall asleep here. So we want to add to that page, okay? And it says added to page, and then we click close, okay? And now we can go um, here. We can go over here and go to instantly fall asleep, okay? We have email sign up here. You can see in the in the uh, left hand side here. So we click on on email sign up. Okay, a web web form tool. Uh, it hasn't been set up yet. If you're an administrator, follow our instructions to finish setting up. So click the edit info link above. Okay, and that's here. And then on the left, click apps. Then you'll find the Aweber email marketing app and click go to app. Okay. Uh, here, if you haven't done so already, enter your Aweber login information to connect to your Aweber account. Finally, just drop, uh, drop, just <laughs> finally, just you. Oh, that's why. Just use the drop-down menus to choose the list you'd like to use and the form that you want to install. Okay, uh, this is the first time I've actually done this. I, I have um, uh, my Aweber form on another Facebook page, but um, they've just added this app. Um, to Aweber, so this is supposed to be a lot easier. I will show you uh, both ways, just in case you don't have Aweber, I'll show you another way that you can add the, uh, the opt-in form to your page. Okay, so uh, let's uh, see if we can get through here. So edit info, go to apps, uh, go to app, okay, access, allow, Okay, uh, login name and password. So I'll just pause this here and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so uh, you've just entered your login name and your password and this is where you're, you're taken to uh, once you uh, pass that, uh, that section, it, it'll ask you to allow and uh, then you just choose the, the correct list Okay, that uh, you have an, an Aweber, and uh, what form you want. Okay, and you can even preview from here. So this is the what the form looks like. Okay, uh, and we'll just go ahead and save changes. Changes have been saved. So we'll go back here and again. So uh, here's our email sign up. Now we'll click this again. And there's our web form. Okay. 
So uh, that is one way if you're with Aweber. And of course, uh, if you're with Aweber, you know that you can go in and, and change this form um, in the Aweber uh, interface, and then it'll change it'll change the form here. Okay. If you're not with Aweber, though, you'll need to do this a different way. And what you'll need to do is uh, grab some HTML or JavaScript code from your um, your autoresponder service. So. Um, Give me a second here, and uh, we'll go get some code, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so if you're familiar with Aweber, uh, this is basically what you look, uh, what it looks like once you you get to the publish um, area of uh, of your web forms. So what you're looking for here is just this, just JavaScript down here, and you just want to highlight it and copy. Okay, copy the the script, and then you want to uh, head over. Sorry, back to your your page. Okay, so this was one way with the email sign up. Okay, here and uh, before, in a, in a previous video, you saw how we used the uh, static HTML uh, tab, and we were going to enter uh, our image in here. Okay, well you're able to to use uh, multiple tabs here. You can there's a second and a third tab that you can use. So. Uh, let's say that um, we want to enter our code here. This is our JavaScript, okay? That we we just got from from Aweber or from GetResponse or, or from um, any autoresponder service that you may be using. And uh, just enter the the HTML or the the JavaScript here. Here it says you can you can use HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, okay? And then you want to just uh, preview it, make sure it looks okay. So again, this is exactly what your your form is going to look like, and this is what the the other one looks like as well. Um, and you can you click here back, okay, and you can write some some text in here. Uh, you know, please sign up for great goodies, okay, or, or whatever it is that you want, and then you can preview that. Okay, please sign up for great goodies, and you can put. Uh, an image here, but again, the image has to be hosted somewhere. So if you want to put an image, then you, you need to upload your image to a website first, and it can be it can be WordPerfect, uh, or sorry, uh, <laughs> WordPerfect. It can be a WordPress site, um, or it can be an HTML um, site. It doesn't matter. Just uh, anywhere, whether you you FTP um, or you just upload straight from from WordPress, uh, depending on your understanding or, or what um, website you have, as long as it's hosted somewhere. Okay, uh, I believe actually you'd probably even host it on a Flickr account. Um, as long as you have, uh, as long as it's hosted somewhere online, then um, you should be able to uh, access it from here. And then you would just put uh, uh, an HTML um, image source. And and once we get our picture back from our developer, uh, from our designer, then um, um, we'll show you how to uh, insert the image here. So this is the other way that you would uh, insert your, let's say. Um, Okay, we already previewed. I'm not going to save changes because uh, I don't want to put my email form there. I, I will keep it as an email sign up. Okay, so that's what it would look like if you uh, if you did save changes. That's what somebody would see. So I'm going to uh, uh, delete all of this. Okay, and say it's saved now. Okay, and I will uh, we'll come back here and we'll show you uh, exactly how to uh, install the image once we get it back. So that's it for now. That's how to uh, put in an opt-in form um, into your Facebook fan page.